Hey everybody, this is Brian Knowlton with HowToEarnMoney.tv. It doesn't matter if you've never made a dime online before. Through my step-by-step -step video tutorials and interviews with industry experts, I'm going to show you how you can make money online. Hey, this is Brian Knowlton, and I'm going to teach you how to make money online. You know, this is my first episode, so I'm really excited to get started. What I wanted to start off with was to give you a little bit of background information on me, because why am I teaching people how to make money online? You know, there's people that are looking to get rich quick. They think that they could possibly click a button and a bunch of cash is going to come rolling in, but that's just not how it happens. You know, if you're looking to make money online, there's two routes that you could take. You could go for a job type position where you'd be able to make money quickly it won't be a huge life-changing experience but I'm gonna teach you techniques on how you could get started making money if you need a couple extra hundred bucks a month or possibly even a couple thousand um, doing these types of jobs but it's more of a job replacement strategy than a passive income strategy most of the techniques I'm going to be teaching you about are passive income strategies so you work hard now so you could enjoy the benefits later, the money coming in. I'm gonna have step-by-step -step tutorials teaching you that, how to make money online, and I'm also gonna have expert interviews um, where they talk about how they make money online, their experiences. You know, I always love a good story. Um, a little bit of information about me, I've been doing internet marketing for almost 20 years now. It's been a very long time and I'll go into more details as the shows progress, but I was marketing products way back before the World Wide Web. You know, I was doing stuff on Usenet and posting my um, ads there, selling products and services, until the, uh, my university decided that wasn't the proper use of the Usenet and took away my account. So shortly thereafter, you know, the World Wide Web came around and I was right there to take advantage of it. I figured out how to build websites, search engine optimization. Well, was there really search engines back then? You, you had directories, you had the Yahoo directory. Um, but I figured out from the very beginning how to get your website to show up in the you know show up on the internet to be found on the internet and that is most important you know it doesn't all come down to search engine optimization because now with social there's so many different opportunities that you have if you're looking to make money online with affiliate marketing for example you could have a procedure to just target people using Twitter you know, you could just use Facebook or LinkedIn. I mean, a bunch of different social networks, that's how you could get your traffic. Most of the stuff that I do, I rely on the search engines, but you could also purchase traffic. You know, there's a lot of different tips and techniques that I'm going to be giving you throughout this series. Um, I, w I got lucky, and I got started right in the very beginning. So I was able to hit it big right in the beginning and it was an amazing lifestyle change I mean I was in my late 20s and I was making way more money than I could even imagine and of course you know at that age I wasn't ready to invest or do anything like that I spent and I thought this is never gonna end you know the money's just gonna keep coming in but sure enough you know 2001 2000 then 2001 came around and everything changed you know the internet changed overnight the dot-com bubble burst and those income streams completely evaporated so I'm gonna teach you throughout my tutorials many different ways to make money online and they will be step-by-step -step tutorials I'm not gonna hold anything back there's no reason for me to and um, I'm gonna have expert interviews I mean interviews with industry experts where they'll tell you their story, how they got started, and what they're doing to make money online. So it's gonna be some really great shows, and I, I look forward to hearing your comments, and you know, at any point, send me an email, 
rate me in iTunes. That really helps with uh, getting more eyes on my show and will give me the ability to produce more shows. So this isn't going to be a one, two, or three show deal. This is going to be for the long haul. And um, the way that I primarily make money off of doing these videos and showing this information to you is through affiliate marketing. And I'm going to teach you in detail about affiliate marketing, what works, what doesn't. A lot of people are making money online through affiliate marketing. And for example, one of the things that I'll do is almost every person that's looking to make money online needs a website. So you need web hosting or you need to buy a domain name. What else do you need? You might need some specific tools to help the process along, um, to get you more traffic, things like that. And what I'm going to do is just tell you about the products and services that I use. And almost everything on the internet has an affiliate program. I mean, if you're looking for dog collars, you could find an affiliate program just for dog collars. Amazon Associates program covers almost anything. They don't have the best commission, so I don't use them as much as other affiliate networks, but there's an affiliate link for everything out there. So by doing that, by you signing up for hosting or buying a domain name through one of the services that I use, then not only are you insured to get good service, but I get a little affiliate commission, and that's how I pay to produce these shows. And you know these shows are going to cover everything. And the great part about it is you might not be able to afford to go to industry events like Affiliate Summit, and I'll bring you pretty much show coverage from those events. The meetings that I attend, I'll give you feedback on those and tell you what I've learned. So, you know, it's going to be a really great show, and I have so much to share with you. So, if you're looking for you know, a, a little bit of extra money, I can tell you right now, there's a lot of different places online that if you have a skill like video editing, picture editing, even just if you have good English, you know, there's plenty of companies looking for article writers. So you go to a place like, you could check out odesk.com or elance.com, there's a few others, you'll run into them as you start searching, but just go and try it out you know there's even fiverr.com f-i-v-e-r-r.com and that's where you do a job for five bucks but you can do a ton of them and people sell the craziest things they'll like either do a voicemail they'll make a phone call and leave a funny message they'll dance for you they'll sing for you um, they'll t put seashells on the beach and like make it spell out I love Tiffany or something you know and they'll take a picture of it and then you can give it to your wife or girlfriend or whatever um, so it's a quick way to make five bucks it's you know there's all sorts of services on there but just go there and see what available gigs there are what other people are doing you could see roughly if they're a hot seller or not and you could duplicate that process the same thing with Odesk. Um, a lot, there's a lot of outsourcing going on. And most people will outsource either to India or the Philippines, everywhere. But they're always looking for good English people because you know, you're fluent in English already, you don't have to worry about that. And if you're needed to do any type of typing or proofreading, then they know they could most likely count on you. So you could check out odesk.com and just browse through the different contractors. See what people are doing, how much they're getting paid on average, and you know, there's a lot of jobs out there. Article marketing is huge right now. So these companies need tons of information. And you do a little bit of research, you could write an article, and they'll help train you usually about like optimizing the articles the way they want it. So those are some techniques for job replacement. I know a lot of people that are making good money off of Odesk because as um, an American, you could just charge a lot more. Um, so that's just you know the cost of living. 
So you could, should try that out if you're looking for just to make a little bit extra money or a job replacement strategy. Um, the more long-term projects that I'm going to be teaching are things like what I'm doing. And I do product creation. I do affiliate marketing. I just recently built a private membership site and charge monthly for that membership. And it's amazing what has been happening over the past six months. And I've just been growing that business. And, you know, all these different techniques of making passive income, you still need to learn basic things like how to create a blog, how to, you know, if you want it to be a static website or if you want it in a blog type format where every time you make a post, it goes to the top of the page. You've seen plenty of blogs. So there's, uh, I'm going to teach you how to do that in one of the upcoming episodes because that's really import important to get started. I'm going to teach you keyword research. I love keyword research, so you're going to have to watch it with me. And I'm going to show you some tools that I use, but also just free tools like uh, Google external keyword tool. Um, so you could learn how to do keyword research a variety of different ways. There's also what is really hot right now is local search marketing and so even social media management. But local search marketing is one thing that I've been doing for a long time now and I'm still making lots of money off of that. And, and that's when you go to a company and they could have an existing website but it's a local company to you. And for example, if you know someone that's a carpet installer and they just don't show up on the internet. If someone types in carpet installer San Diego or something, they just don't show up. They might be on page number 10 or 20. There, it's really not that difficult to learn the search engine optimization techniques that are required to get them to show up on page number one. And there's a lot of different techniques. And one of the hottest techniques right now is you just create videos. You just record short little videos. You could use a camcorder, you could use your phone and just talk about the services, put their phone or up number up there, their website, upload that to YouTube. YouTube is owned by Google and they just love video content. So you do that video, you upload it, and before you know it, your website and that video is showing up in the search results on the first page. And of course, it's not going to work in every single instance. I mean, if you type in San Diego web hosting and you shoot a hundred different videos and put them up, most likely you're never going to rank for that. There's just, when the competition is really high in a specific area, it's just really difficult to rank. So I'm going to teach you how to find those types of companies that, you know, the, comp the competition isn't that great. So you'll have great chances of getting your website to rank. And that's one of the services that I offer. I'm a real estate appraiser, and I've been a real estate appraiser since 2001 when the dot-com bubble burst and I had to do something new. And I, of course, I spent all my money and I bought a house and bought a couple houses and a bunch of cars and started a family. So I was strapped and I became a real estate appraiser and while I was doing the appraisals, I realized that, you know, people in my industry just don't know anything about marketing. They were just pretty much clueless. So I was like, oh, I know all these different tips and techniques for getting a website to rank. So I started to blog about that information. I started to blog about industry news and events. And it was only, it was just something I was doing on the side, nothing really huge. And, but I had the number one ranking website in San Diego for real estate appraisers. And I thought, wow, I, I could totally sell this service to someone else. So first I started helping companies with their websites, just doing basic search engine optimization. And it's, I'm telling you, it's really not that hard to learn. And since they're all local companies, they might not be local to me, I started to learn local search techniques. And we'll have a whole episode just about that. But it's really not too difficult. You put their companies into the local sections of the search engines. 
those are the sections where you type in a search phrase like San Diego appraiser and over on the right there'll be a map that shows the different companies most companies don't even put their stuff in there it's Google puts it in there for them but if they're not optimized for the area then they just don't show up you won't show up on that map so there's tremendous opportunity in that area helping companies get into Google local there's tons of other search engines that use the local sections as well that you need to sign up to and claim your listings and so I was doing that I was building websites um, after that you know I got tired of doing the search engine optimization dealing with other people's websites because websites are built all sorts of different ways and it was just way too much of a hassle I had to start charging clients a thousand dollars to optimize their website just because it took me so long to figure out the code of their original website it was just a big pain in the butt but WordPress if you've heard about it and of course upcoming episodes we'll be talking about installing WordPress but it's super easy to use it's easy for not only the person that sets up the website to set it up instantly but it's very easy to edit for the client so I started setting up WordPress websites for appraisers and saying you know you can keep your existing website but I could charge you only five hundred dollars a year to build your website host it and optimize it and so that's what I started doing and I still have that website it's called appraiserwebsites.net and you know I've had hundreds of real estate appraisers get their hosting and get their websites built through me and it really it would take me maybe 30 minutes to an hour to build a website with the information that they gave me and just fill out a form build it charge them for a year don't do that monthly hosting oh, it's horrible and uh, you you could do that in any industry you know and then you could charge additional services for putting them into the local sections of the search engines and all the other directories that they need to be at so local search is really hot and I'm going to talk a lot about it and have interviews with industry experts that that's all they do so you'll be able to learn if that technique if you're interested in doing something and again that is a mix of both there's a lot of time involved and you do have to work with clients so it's not a hundred percent passive but if you set up everything like most of my appraiser websites once I get them set up and going I don't usually talk to them except maybe once or twice a year so it is semi passive but there's some time involved other things that I do is on my blog I mention additional products and services that appraisers just always use so if they're using these specific types of expensive roller measure or a laser measure um, in their day-to-day -day operations I put those up on the website and they buy them through me well not through me but they click on my link they go to Amazon and they buy it there um, I get an affiliate commission for that and you could sign up for affiliate programs through the specific vendor like if I have a vendor that has a roller measure and they have an affiliate program then you get much better commissions it might be 25 or 50 percent and there's other there's almost everything has an affiliate program like I was saying appraisers need education all the time uh, every two years you need to do like 56 hours of uh, education to keep your license so I get affiliate commissions off of that as well you know there's affiliate commissions available everywhere and I blog about what I love I love appraisals the industry is whew, really tough right now but it gives me something to blog about so I had just yesterday I got mad at a company because they're really paying appraisers horrible fees and they used to be a great company but yesterday I decided to target them and expose them to everyone that reads my blog and I received over a thousand people went to my website to read that blog post and I had like a hundred replies to that blog post within like three or four hours I mean it's still super hot and someone from the company the VP contacted me and uh, they, he didn't call but he sent an email and uh, I said you know I'd love to interview the president and owner 
of the company. I, I really don't want to talk to anyone else. So we'll see if that happens and it'll just get me more news, more people coming to the website and I'll make more affiliate commissions. So there's so many different ways that I make money with that website. And I like to stick to a really specific niche or something that I believe I'm an expert in. And so that's why I'm teaching other people how to make money online because you, you have the skills. You have either a certain passion or you have a certain desire or you're an expert in some area. Everyone has it. So what's yours? You know, first you need to determine if someone's willing to pay for the information that you could provide or the services or the products. As an appraiser, I provide web hosting, marketing services, tons of marketing services, local search marketing, um, affiliate products, tons of affiliate products, and these are for things that add value to their lives. So I'm helping them out and I'm get, getting an affiliate commission because of it. So as long as you're always adding value and there's willing buyers out there, depending on the way that you present that information, you can make money off of it. You could blog for money, which is pretty much through the affiliate programs, products and services, like the websites. And one really exciting thing that I started recently that you could do in almost any industry as well is to build, I built a membership site. And it's a private marketing forum for real estate appraisers. So appraisers go there to learn the tips and techniques that me and my business partner use to get more work because no one's teaching it. And they're willing to pay a good fee for that information. And even though my market is fairly small compared to like hosting or something like that, I know that niche. And I could get thousands of people to sign up to the club. And we've just had a tremendous tremendous success from the very beginning but you could do that in any industry just as I was saying um, I'll go back to the carpet installer example if you go to him and you tell him look um, I will help you increase your rankings in the search engines you build him a little website you sell him web hosting you do a little bit of marketing for him you have to charge him for the marketing you set up the local search you have to charge him for him and if that website shows up in the like the top three results, he's going to be giving you raises left and right. There's a huge, huge, huge difference between a carpet installation company showing up in position number one or their video showing up like in the top three positions or them showing up on page number two. You know, huge difference. I've I have the number one appraiser website over the past 10 years. And it's brought in probably close to a million dollars in revenue. Just that one website. And, you know, people are missing huge opportunities. Um, local companies, if they're not set up on the internet, if they're not taking advantage of it, they're just throwing money away. I mean, might as well just have the competition move right in front of them and uh, take over. You know, there's in every single industry. You could be selling RVs, they could, any service, any service, any product, anything that's offered locally, it's really simple to learn. There's even programs that you could sign up for. Like, I belong to one place called expand to web It's expand the number two web.com. And they have an affiliate program, but I have no idea what my affiliate link is. So. If you just go to expand2web.com, um, he teaches you all about local search marketing. And I ended, ended up interviewing him recently, and I'll have that coming up as well. But you can learn it very quickly. Just go to a reputable source. Um, don't get scammed into thinking you're going to get rich overnight because it does take some work to get started on that type of thing. So, um, but you could do anything, any industry. You could do a niche blog on a specific topic and as long as you're providing value that's that's really all you need to do 
So throughout these tutorials, I'm going to teach you search engine optimization. I'm going to teach you how to build that blog. And through the whole time, I'm going to be urging you over and over and over to just do it. You know, you're not going to get anywhere if you don't try. And if you have been looking into making money online for years now, you're not making money online because you're not doing it. And in every business, in every industry, there's going to be failures. There's, you're going to run across stumbling blocks. You're not going to get it right the first time. And OK, let's give you 1% chance of getting it right the first time. And you might hit it big. You know, I hit it big with my first project, and it was amazing, and I got spoiled. But most likely, you're going to fail. So the key is to fail fast. Get over with it. Learn from your mistakes, because if you're learning from those mistakes, you're only getting better at that point. So it's fine to fail. Don't ever let it, let it get you down. That's how you learn. And that's, you know, I'm going to be teaching you that. Don't get discouraged. Keep going. And I'm going to teach you how to get <clears throat> organized so you could get ready for this process. And I would, I would love to hear your feedback. You could go to my website. You could leave me feedback on YouTube. And what I really urge you to do is if you could give me some feedback in iTunes. That really helps the eyes get in front of the show. And it'll be a tremendous success. And I'll be able to produce even higher quality videos. Oh, yeah. See? L love this background. And uh, I need a real set. So let's work for that. For me, that's what my goal will be, is I need a nice video production set to produce high, high, high quality videos and to conduct my expert interviews within. So the key you know, is just get started. And until next time, just do it. Well, I hope you really enjoyed that episode. You know, I've been receiving a lot of really good comments and questions off of my website about how to earn money. So what I'd like you to do, if you're interested, is send me an email. You know, any questions, comments, and I will be answering any type of questions and answering the comments in my upcoming shows. So just visit, visit the website here, submit your information, and I'm going to be answering those for you. Um, another great thing is a lot of people have been going into iTunes and rating my show in there. I'm not sure if you're watching it on iTunes or YouTube or Roku. But in iTunes, you know, you just log in, give me a five-star rating, or is it five stars or is it three? I'm not sure. Find out. Um, just go there and rate my show and put in a comment there. That really helps me out, get more exposure, and able to bring more shows to you. Same thing with Roku. Just go to the title screen for the show, rate me in there, and that just brings in more viewers. So I really appreciate that. Really helps me out a lot. And if you're looking for that WordPress hosting, want to get a WordPress website up instantly, go to mybluehosting.com, send me the information if you'd like, and I'll install your WordPress blog for you. So thanks again for spending your time with me, and until next time, just do it.